Welcome back to another episode of Burning Ship Podcast, where a group of friends gather to talk the latest in nerd culture. I'm Frankie. My name's Jason. Here's Ivan. I'm Lewis. And this week, we'll be talking about this year's technology and gaming Black Friday deals and Tesla's Cybertruck. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe or follow us wherever podcasts can be found. So, what you guys been all up to? Oh, man, nothing. Got out of work early today. Had Ooh, a very nice. short work week. It was, it was a good week. Uh, one of my good friends came from Virginia to visit. Ooh. And I was able to hang out with him today, so that was fun. Yeah, uh, that's why we're recording this late. Yes, I'm so sorry. I mean, this yeah, is our usual fine. recording time. What it, you talking about? It is. It we're is, just, kind of. Which is kind of sad. But yeah, I was in bed, comfortable, relaxed, and watching YouTube videos. You said you were watching anime. Yeah, anime YouTube videos. And, and then all of a sudden, I get a call from Frankie, <laughs> disturbing this piece. No. Oh, so we blame Frankie. Yeah. He okay. told me to call him when you guys got on, and if we we're gonna... Oh, well, no, no, no. Never mind, mm. Louis, you fucked up. No, 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 no. Frankie just no. wants to throw the blame at me all the time. You told me that. No, you didn't. But where's the <laughs> sauce? Where's the proof? Yeah. Literally, uh, the uh, our good friend Walter was in the call when uh. This happened. Well, Walter so. ain't here right now, so yeah, Walter sauce. ain't here. Uh, but yeah, he is my proof. So saying, Louis told me to call him, so I called him. But yeah, I don't believe we want to see it. Anything else you guys have been up to? Uh, I know I haven't really done much other than sleep. You want to go see a, a movie over the today. weekend? Oh yeah, I did. Uh, what movie what did, did I see? see? Is it Ford versus Ferrari this week? Was what? that this week? No. Yeah. Oh wait, what was it this week? No, it was uh, uh, one of our places in the neighborhood. No, I wanted to go see that, but I still I, need to go oh, should it. I go see that? Yeah, highly recommend it. Apparently, it's really good uh, from what Mister Augusta said. Will it make me you cry? You haven't seen it yet. No, I was gonna watch it, but I haven't had time. I've been sick. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Was it you? That got you was sick. It you who got me sick. Probably you, remember. Were you the one who said that to me? He's like, hey, I'm sick, so you may not want to do it. I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll get sick. It'll yeah. let me get out of work early. Ha, yep. ha, ha. Yep, yep, yep. I <laughs> actually got sick, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, me and my sister went to go see uh, 21 Bridges. Well, what's that about? Uh, basically, it's uh, New York, and there was like a cop murder... And they had to shut down all 21 bridges leading into Manhattan, I think. Mm hmm Yeah. And so, like, it's, like, this whole, like, crime tracking down the the killer. And then, like, there's there's a huge twist. Don't want to say anything. But it's quite obvious. And from there's the actually beginning. 22 bridges. Is there? No. <laughs> Frank. So, I was like, you, you would know. I feel like <laughs> you, you watch the movie. You would know. Exactly. But. Yeah, they stop like all trans transit, so buses, uh, subways, boats, just to to catch the, this guy who uh, killed seven cops. Well, two guys that killed. See seven now cops. the plot twist is. See, Frankie made it obvious now. It's like it's not him actually. Dun, dun, dun. The the plot twist is all the tax money that was spent just to catch one guy, <laughs> but it was yeah. just to profile him. Uh, and I mean, it, it was a white dude. It was it was good. Like it was pretty good. I I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. This guy. And then well, what's it good. called? In the middle of the the movie, there was like two people, like probably like two rows uh below me, that started arguing, and almost got into a fight. So uh, let it escalate. Why? Yeah, they were talking yeah, about. I heard you called you a little bitch. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Talking about. The... I mean, there's kind of right at the end of the day, though. <laughs> Fuck you. What? I'm only speaking truth here, man. But yeah, they, they almost got into the fight, which was, it was interesting. Because it was like, we were just in the middle of uh, the movie, and then out of, uh, out of nowhere, you just hear someone scream like, fuck you. And then like, uh, un- like you hear a woman's voice like arguing back. And then like, it, it was just back and forth. Everyone in the movie theater like started like getting interested, like what the fuck's going on? It's like, this is better than the actual movie. <laughs> I hope uh, that's a good sign for the movie. But yeah, it so that that happened. But it was a good movie. 
I do want to go see a beautiful place in the neighborhood because my it was my childhood. I used to watch uh, Mr. Rogers growing up. Did you so. actually? Yeah. Did you? I did. I've Mr. never seen one episode. Mr. Rogers has been rerunning since forever. Yeah. Like I know I, it's been rerunning. I've never watched an episode, though. No, I think I was watching the reruns, but I watched it no, on yeah, uh, for PBS. Sure. You weren't alive when <laughs> Mr. Rogers was doing it live. <laughs> but yeah, I, I watched reruns, so like I, I grew up with uh, Mr. Rogers, even if it was reruns. Yeah, he was long dead, probably. That's a nice way to look at it. <laughs> yeah. But it's Mr. Anyways, Rogers, so he's happy. I got something to say. Hi. Uh, Mr. Lewis has not been forthright with this week. Um, this man survived four concerts in a row? Uh, yeah, that is or true. Or four in a week. Three in four a row. Four in a week. Three in a row. Yeah, four in a week, three in a row. I was there for and, two of them. And then on Saturday, Roger was supposed to be there, but he decided to leave. He told me the story of what happened. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. To be fair, though, I- I'm not saying that he shouldn't have gone because, yes, he could have gone without drinking, without his yeah. ID, right? Like, that's fine. Correct. And I'm I'm pissed off at him that his first concert, he decided to just not go because he was pissed off that he lost his wallet, which I understand. Well, like, it's not just that. It's not just that. So, well, he also didn't want to make the 15-minute walk back to the no, concert. Yeah, that too, that too. So... What ended up happening is I tell Roger, hey, I'm going to send you an address for the parking lot. But the parking lot directions will stop you way before you get to the right location. So mm-hmm. I send him a video saying, when you get to this spot, you go to the next light, turn a right, and the parking spot will be on your left side. And literally, that's where um, me and you went to the masquerade that one time. Ah, and it's like okay. right, right close by yeah, yeah, the masquerade. Yeah. It's like that. And this guy decided, oh, I can't find it. I'm going to go park somewhere else. Parks 15 minutes away or 20 minutes away. And is like, okay, hey, I'll meet you there. I'm like 20 minutes away. And I was like, okay, sure, fine, whatever. I'm like right around the corner already. And he's like, what the fuck? I was like, bro, you didn't follow my directions. It's not my fault. Yeah. So I tell him that. And then I go there. I'm waiting outside of the venue. And... He, um, I start kind of seeing him come down the steps to the masquerade. Uh huh. And there's the guy that stops you for your ID. So if you want to get uh, alcohol, you'll get the wristband there before you get to the venue. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, fuck, I forgot my wallet and the car. I'm going to go back. Yeah. Walks back another 15 minutes. So already this guy has already done 15 to 20 minutes front and back. So that's 30 to 40 minutes already. Yeah. Now he gets there, calls him back. He's like, fucking shit, I forgot my wallet. I'm not going to make the walk again and do another 15, 20 minutes of coming back. I was like, bro, it's just your wallet. It's okay, whatever, just come back over here. He's like, no, I'm not walking no more. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's funny because this is the artist that he mainly wanted to see. Yeah, that's what uh, he told me. He was like. Yeah, I feel bad, but at the same time, I'm mad. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it was chill, that one. I was happy that it was a chill concert, not like the wild no ones mosh previously. Pits, nobody no mosh pits, no mosh pits, no anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just that relax, crush. chill, smoke. I mean, smoking tobacco. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yo, actually, speaking of, actually, we can't get into politics now. <laughs> I was told uh, by our uh, by our producer we are not allowed to get into politics. Good, what are good, you talking good. about? It's a free state. <laughs> yes. Pick the producer out and then let's talk about it. <laughs> oh, we should. No, we'll talk <laughs> about right. it post show. Post show uh, for a Kickstarter. Anyways, um, yeah, I was there with with you for two of the concerts, which were some of my favorite concerts by far. Uh, two I great sets. Remember, I prevail. Bear tooth. Was the second Ice concert. Nine Kills. Ice Nine Kills was good. And then who else? It was uh, <laughs> Fit for a King. Fit for a King, yeah. Fit for a the, King. That, that was good too. Uh, I enjoyed Which we didn't all the miss. Bands. We missed uh, two of bands for, for that concert. Which band yeah. were they, Louis? Do you know? Huh? Do you know what band they were? No, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I didn't recognize the first two bands that played. And then Fit for a King, I didn't recognize either, but they played really well. I love that bassist. What the a fucking legend. legend. 
um, got off stage and ran past us. Yeah, just literally like, right next ring. to us. I saw your uh, was it Snapchat or Instagram that you put that on? One both. of the both. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, uh, yeah, he he just went to go get a drink and then went back to stage. <laughs> Legend right there. Mad For respect. Real. And then he he what he crowd surfed at least twice. Uh, I think more than that. Did he crowd surf to least. get back to the to the stage? This drink. No. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, he had a cup in his hand. Oh well. <laughs> yes. Damn. Uh, it that was a good concert. That's nice. Yeah, it was. I got uh, you to move up front and showed you how to uh, maneuver through crowds. Yeah. So you're welcome. It wasn't as close as we got in a, a day to remember. Oh, I did remember we just got so close. We got literally right up at the front. Mm-hmm. It was so good. Nice. But, good thing that it you was a fun time. One. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, We're okay. Look, voice. At the a day to remember concert though, I <laughs> PSA, and this is not meant to shame anybody, but like, there's crowd surfing, right? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to enjoy the concert, man. If the crowd can't keep you up without our assistance, please do not do it. I got hit in the neck twice that night, and my neck and back has been hurting since then. And I'm so, I'm guessing you didn't see the big girl land with her ass in my face? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> and I felt okay. so bad, because I could not move to help you, because everybody else pushed me back. Bro, I turned around, and that shit just hit me in the face. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happened with uh, me, but it was one of the shirtless dudes. Oh, uh, okay. And but nobody wanted to catch him or whatever, and so he just yeah. fell on me, and I was like, oh, fuck. It sucks. I just hate the heavy people that just crowd surf, and it's like, yo, it takes about 50 of us, and there's only 20 <laughs> of us here. Yeah, well, no, especially at uh, the front. Yeah. Because some of the people at the front don't even want to bother with you. Yeah, like, I didn't want to bother with you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to bother with any of you. But here we Except are. Me. Again, yeah. not to not to <laughs> shame anybody, but my two cents on the matter. Because I just want to enjoy the music. Mm-hmm. But no. Also, which, I, I, which I definitely we went deaf. Which we did. And oh, yeah. you couldn't record anything because your phone died. Yeah, my phone died two songs into the a day to remember. Oh. And I was very hey, upset. For me personally, I I rather have like live in the moment. Then record it. Like, yes, it's nice to have that recording to like remember. Like, oh shit, I went to this concert. That was nice. But it's like I I prefer to live in the moment. But that's just I understand me. that. No, I'm just too lazy to pull out my phone. <laughs> well, no. At one point, I was scared to pull out my phone. No, so, see, that was the thing is, is that scared. when when I want to go to a concert and I just want to have a good time, rip Ivan's beanie. M- the more oh, yeah. <laughs> the. <laughs> Don't I forgot about that. <laughs> um, What's so, worse is it was a crowd server uh, who took it off, Ivan. Just so you know, he robbed you. <laughs> it was, was a she, but yes, she robbed you. Yeah. What do you mean? She like grabbed it? She grabbed it while she was over my head. <laughs> oh, it was like an accidental steal, or it was like I like, have no like, idea. All I know is that she had it in her hand like, and then threw break. it. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She you do that thing. Don't take she, your phone you out, or else uh, a Lewis will come in and take it. Don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What false accusations are we talking about here? Wait, they're not. I've they're, only, not they're not false. I've only seen his stories where yeah, he I've only like. Seen, I've only his, heard of his I've stories. Only, I've only seen his Instagram stories where he has the phone and he's like, "Hey, has anyone lost this? What yeah. are you good Samaritan? What he's are you trying to accuse him for? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like you know, what are you talking about? I mean, you're trying to besmirch his good name. You, like, and a good... You know what? Let's just go on to the first topic. Uh The only topic, basically. (laughs) Uh, But anyways, Black Friday is technically today when uh, the video goes up. But in two days from this... Well, one day, right? Well, technically, it's actually... Black Friday is technically today for us right now because it they start Thursday instead of Friday, which is which, so dumb. I know it's like it's, well, it's not dumb. Which, okay, let me put it this way: it's not dumb, and I explained that to Frankie because of the fact that most retail people do not want to be waking up early in the morning anymore to deal with some asshole customers trying to get a deal. It's but actually yes. it's actually better 
to be like, okay, it's already in my work shift. I'm already here. I'm now dealing with the same asshole customers. Just now there's more deals. That's it. That's the only difference right there. Well, I can, again, we have perspective from both sides. So yeah. I understand the part where it's like, Frankie does it. As a no, worker. No, I worked retail as well. Not for Black Friday? Yes, yes I have. Yes. Two okay, Black Friday. I've done it two years and it's horrible. He didn't work in a big store like we did. Okay. No, but it's smaller. The and then with the same, like, big amount of people, like, a small store, big amount of people, it's like, that shit gets cramped. Oh, and me and Jason have higher perspectives between uh, management and... Uh, can we mention that you uh, worked as uh, that position, Jason? Yeah, you can. Okay. Okay. Um, him as uh, loss prevention. So that's actually pretty I, interesting. I was cage boy. I <laughs> was cage boy my first year as supervisor for a Black Friday. I did not enjoy it. <laughs> no. I was cage boys because they couldn't trust anyone else. First, first Black <laughs> Friday I worked, uh, I was, I didn't touch the cash registers because uh, I was. That was all yeah, uh, the, the higher you, ups. you were floor service. You were a Yeah, I was floor service. So I was <laughs> like, oh, is it uh is there anything you're looking for? I could check to see what games are still in stock. Yeah, and what you mean by that is you're gonna go to the person on the register and it's like, hey, do we still have this in stock? <laughs> My No, I uh like as the season uh like I downloaded the app on my phone and it's like I looked and it's like, Oh, it says in stock and then I say it says we we have it in stock. Let me go verify just to make sure. That's the worst way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Because if the, the really app well. straight up says uh, out of stock, it's like, okay, like, why why even go check? Yeah, but at that point, why even do it for your phone? Just go check and don't waste your time with the phone. Because <laughs> what's called yeah, that? It it, wrong, it's like you I go mean, up, this. This is why talk to the cash register, and then it's like, hey, I need you to check this. Okay, let me... Let me finish my transaction, and it then I'll check It is a small you. store. You could go up to the person and be like, hey, I need you to check something right quick. Or there, you could, what we call in the business, a lie. <laughs> 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 this is true. A lie. That yes. has been done you know, plenty of I, times. I live to serve customer service, so. Well, no, that is don't. a BS, because then That's you would bullshit. still be in customer service. You'd be yeah. happy with it. The thing is, is that. My, um, oh, go ahead. You just lie. The thing, the common lie is like, ma'am, it's most likely a man or sir. It's never a dude. Well, yeah, which one of them is it? It's never a dude or doodad, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. a ma'am or sir. It's ma'am, sir, I'm sorry. Um, if it's not on the floor, it, we don't have it. But you got some in the back. Lady, <laughs> we do not carry <laughs> games like that in the back. We don't have this obscure title you're looking for. We only got FIFA. <laughs> Only FIFA. Only FIFA. <laughs> Only FIFA. You know, my first eat. Black Friday, I uh, that was the first time I started learning how to use the registers. Oh, they um, made you go on registers. They made me go on registers because at that point I was a uh, merchandiser still. I was just beginning a merchandiser. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that was the first time I ever started learning on registered. It was the numbers, worst thing ever, everything. The worst experience ever. <laughs> no, Especially I'm with customer... It's like how you guys saying like, oh, I can't check if this is an inventory. I was like, ah, uh, yeah, we don't have it. <laughs> yes, it's like I said. Uh, my my second Black Friday was definitely more, I would say easier because I wasn't out on the floor. Like I was. Yeah, all you're doing is just stuck. ringing people up. Yeah. And telling them, hey, we don't have this. We can't return this for you. You already scratched off that code. <laughs> Get out of my sight. <laughs> uh, I already yeah. know the trade. <laughs> you know it. Uh. Yeah, Dude, but we cannot <laughs> wait, Frankie. I, I do want to ask you, uh -huh. and this is very you know, since you're already an ex employee and whatnot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> did you accept trades during uh, Black Friday? Depends the size. So, a console would you would someone wanted to trade their PS4 with like 20 games? Would you say no? So, I think if I remember correctly, what we did was we we took the console to the side had someone individually that wasn't doing registers test out the console and then when it was the console was done like te testing it it's like hey we we have it and then we just quickly fill out the paperwork on the side and then just put in the information quickly in the register and just get them on their way you let a seasonal test it 
No, I because we had multiple people there. Like we had someone in the uh, regular worker in the back, and then uh, three workers filled up the registers. Uh, it, so what you're saying is you had a worker for each position and which, made them work in a position that they should be working in. You, which means mm-hmm. you were well staffed, right? Well, that wish, must be nice. I wish. Well, our because we store had, had one that. person. We had one person in the back, right? Basically, being being the console person, where it's like, hey, I need this serial number, and then it's like, okay, we get they lo- serial and, number. And they, Excuse me. Well, no <laughs> label like console number, whatever. Skew, my guy. Uh, no, we we actually labeled it with like uh like the sticky notes, and it's like one, two. It's like I need console three That's for this. Dumb. Wow, just say it made, I it, made it, it easier. Just, I need an Xbox. Which one? The one with the lady on it. <laughs> I got you. There's only one. Mm-hmm. It's number two. If you need a bundle, just say the bundle. <laughs> no, but what's it called? It's because uh we had a system where it's like we had to actually put in the skew and like the everything in before uh you could, you, bringing it out could, because of the loss uh loss prevention told us to um so how you work around that is how how was your register by the way how like what did your area look like was it enclosed no it it was it was uh two sides open uh two sides open yeah two sides open on the left and right and then uh three registers in the on the front so you, what you're supposed to do with that is that when you bring the console out, <clears throat> you can put it in the back of their cash wrap and then scan that um, skew and then the serial, or oh, you yeah, put I it know. on the bottom of your register where you're oh, no, working. Yeah, I, I did that multiple times. Yeah, then there's no need to just call out numbers. This was our system. Let it be. But anyways. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I no longer work there, so it's like whatever. Yeah, uh, is there any of the deals that I should be looking out for? Everyone's raving about the two hundred dollar PS4. Come to oh, three games. It. Yes, <clears throat> it's so, um, it's two hundred dollars. <laughs> it is a core PS4. <clears throat> it comes with Horizon. It comes with The Last of Us, and it comes with God of War. Good games. That's actually so, really good games. Because I still might end up buying it because I need a Blu-ray player. And hmm. then I'm like, I should just go buy a regular Blu-ray player. I mean, does uh like Best Buy have any good uh Blu-ray players uh deals? I don't know, but my experience at Best Buy has never been great. Especially Black Friday. Yeah. Really? I've never been to a Best Buy for Black Friday. It is actually the worst thing I've ever done. There yeah, was only one bad. time when I went and like waited in line, and that was because we were getting my sister a uh I think it was the the Surface Two, back then. Dude, uh-huh. the last time I've been in a a Best Buy was in seventh grade. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy! You know, I'm actually trying to go to Best Buy to get the Oculus. Oh, you should take me, Lewis, just so I can go visit. <laughs> just so you can go. Just so I can say, hey, I've been to a Best Buy in 2019. <laughs> 2019. You should take us to our old place just so I could say, hey, I was there before it closed. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, there before it... The Pokeball Plus is being tw- uh, on sale for 20 bucks. What is yeah. the Pokeball Plus? It's that Pokeball thing that you can get for the Let's Go series. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Which comes with Mew. Mm-hmm. And then you oh, can wow. actually use it for Sword and Shield. Oh, damn. Yeah, I think. And it'll come with Mew again. Yeah. No. Yeah. I know, I... but like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no? Yes, okay. but no. Yeah, because it wouldn't be available on the game, right? I don't think Mew's available. Game wise, I have seen people with Mew because they had the Pokeball Plus. Interesting. So, yeah, you know, it might be worth the uh, twenty dollars to just get Mew. No, I am paying twenty dollars for DLC. You want to know it's worth fifteen dollars? What? One twenty-eight SD card. Wait, really? Fifteen dollars? That's not bad. Yes. No, it's not bad. It's pretty good. No, yeah. you got a pretty good deal over where we were at, Jason, with the two fifty six. Yeah, it was thirty. Yeah, uh, yeah, about thirty dollars. Where, where is this one? The the uh, fifteen dollar. That's 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 the gamer stop. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I was transferring back and forth from Best Buy to to the Game Stop. If uh, yeah. they bring back the one terabyte ninety eight dollars deal, will you take it, Jason? Which one? The ninety-eight dollar SSDs. 
98. One if they can, well, one terabytes. My wait, how many? One terabyte. No, I mean like, Micro Center has one right now. Uh huh. For, for seventy something dollars. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Is it an A data? It is not an A data. Let me go uh, look this up real quick. Yeah, yeah let us suffer with you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because um, I want it. It's uh it's seventy nine ninety nine. It's by uh-huh. Inland. It oh In- Inland. Inland. <gasps> That's However, a weird company for SSDs. I'd rather get the Samsung one. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you want the Samsung one? I mean, but I, like if I had to choose between A Data and Inland, I'd choose A Data by a mile. You're right. Ooh, it's spir- one terabyte for less than a hundred. Spyro's on sale for twenty five. Dude, there's a lot of stuff on sale. I already have that game on PS4. Like I'm telling you right now, like I'll be honest with you, for like most of Black Friday, it's kind of a sham because everyone nowadays starts their sales like the week of. Yeah, they only have like one or two major items to go on sale like the day. The day. Well, of. except uh, except uh, GamerStop, they have they have a lot of games that go on sale Thursday and Friday. Like mm-hmm. Call of Duty ends up going down to thirty eight bucks. Oh, Devil May Cry Five is uh twenty. It was free if you got a graphics card. So actually, right now, the one terabyte uh, 860 Evo from Samsung is $99 at Micro Center. It could drop to $89. Hope so. Oh, God of War. It's $10. Wait, is that the 850 Evo? 860. 860 Evo? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, just so you know, Frankie, most of the PlayStation hits are $10. Uh, Yeah, that's what I'm I'm looking at right now. It's like... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uncharted Collection, I already have. Uh, Gran Turismo. Good. Ooh, Persona 5. I might actually pick that up. Dude, Persona 5 is only $10. If you have not played Persona 5, go ahead and pick it up. I have not. I haven't played it, but I've heard it was pretty good. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, God of War, amazing story. Like, I I absolutely love the story for God of War. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, with the DLC, $10. That's, That's actually really good. Oh, and if you guys don't know, and you guys play PlayStation, uh, you can get online PlayStation Network for 45 for the year now. It's a mm. code. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and then with the Xbox as well, there's like the, uh, it's a $26.99 for the ultimate uh, the- pass for three months. Well, with- I got Discord Nitro and I got that for free, so. But uh, three months gold for 15 bucks. Not bad. Lame. Uh, Xbox One Series Two Elite controller for one hundred seventy nine. I I think that's regular price, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That I don't know. Mm. That'll be a Mister Ibino question. Wait for what? Uh, uh, Elite Series Two for the Xbox One controller. Mm. Didn't see any deals on it. I know. I just saw the price, which is one hundred seventy nine, on the the ad. So yes. I don't know. Oh, the best ad and best offer. You could get a free Overwatch mask if you buy an Overwatch Ultimate figure, which is twelve ninety nine. Oh, so that's what those are for. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for what? Oh, whatever. Um, no, I'm just I'm just not looking forward to how many people are just trying to scam me to, on Friday. Mm-hmm. Because, like last year, I heard a story from my my old manager he told me mm-hmm. that. Some guy returned a PS4 Pro, mm-hmm. and they didn't bother checking it because it, it was still sealed. Mm-hmm. So they sell it to this Hispanic family, and on Christmas Day they open it up, and it's a bunch of chemistry textbooks. Uh, so that, now that, we, hurt, that hurts me. So now it's an emphasis that we have to open every console we get in as a return, <laughs> even if it's sealed. Even if it's sealed, we have to open it up, make sure everything's there. I'll line it with its serial number and all that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, that, that's. I feel bad for the family. Like they got. I mean, they got compensated for it. No, like, yeah, they got obviously. Some free games and whatnot. But <clears throat> the dumbest scam is the goddamn people who, like I said, scratch off the goddamn card <laughs> and are like, "Man, my code don't work. What do I do?" You go contact the card provider. Or that network provider that you're trying to get the stuff from. And you let them deal with it. Because <laughs> little known fact, uh, the per- the store carrying it, that's all they do. They just carry it, 
and sell it to you. <laughs> they have <laughs> no jurisdiction in whether your code works or not, or uh, what's it called, or if you scratch it off completely, that's just you, on your end. There's a lot of people who come in with their kids, and they're like, yeah, instead of scratching with a coin, he like chewed it. <laughs> Or like ripped off the glue plastic and I can't read the code. Can I get another one? It's like, no, you can buy another one. I'm not going to pay for your negligence. Uh, let's see. Mm, oh, Enter the Gungeon is uh, 20 bucks on Switch. Yes. Which one? Yes, it is. Enter the Gungeon. And it's highly oh. worth $20. What's it about? Jason can explain. Dude, Enter the Gungeon is a roguelike shooter that, what would you consider it, a top-down shooter? Yeah, it's a roguelike, top down. Yes, and basically you're shooting other bullets. You're shooting bullets at bullets. It's the greatest thing on earth. <laughs> uh, you can play as co-op, and I believe it's only local co-op. But yes, like I don't know. I've had a lot of fun. It's challenging. Progressively, you get too strong, and then you know you just face roll the game. But you gotta know what you're doing. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Waffle Maker, Super Mario Waffle Maker, 20 bucks. 20 bucks? <laughs> Don't tell them that. That's my first thing on my list. Don't say <laughs> that. There are some things on that list, Frankie, that might be on a white elephant. <laughs> Wait a um, minute. Wait, what? We're, do what? we're doing that? When was this confirmed? This, uh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Pokemon, Pokeball, Popcorn, Popper. Don't you say it. <laughs> it's $30. Yeah, it's 30 From the bucks. 50 I actually want to buy it. That's it. it <laughs> Why? It's, it's tempting. <laughs> it's a Pokemon popcorn maker. Make you your own kernel. You make popcorn. <laughs> we'll buy the kernels. <laughs> just because we'll pop them just Just because we have it. <laughs> if uh, anything, me and you need to flush out both those... Uh, uh, cold brew cleaners and buy the beans or the yeah the beans right is it beans Jason uh, what for what for your cold brew yes yes buy the beans I, I would like to yeah but yeah other than that it's like cards are on sale but that's about it well noticeable ones that I saw for the game uh but any other ads you guys saw but caught your attention i know lewis said uh oculus rift for best buy oh yeah yes yes uh it's 349 at best buy i would try to uh is to that go. the second iteration or the first uh the second it's the s model is that what it's called i think it's something like that i forgot what it was <laughs> but i saw it it's like 349 so it's like 50 dollars off so i was like mm, you know what i could do this i could really do that I bet you could. Must be Hi. nice. Hi. Hey, I'm sorry. I can <laughs> save more money now. I know. Ooh. So, for photography fans out there, Best Buy has a Canon T T7 one. No, T7i. My bad. Um, kit with a. Uh, it comes with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And it comes also with a 55 to 250 millimeter lens for $700. That's not bad because norm normal price is uh, 1200 Yeah. I wish I had like a good amount of money because I, I, I'd probably go for that. And um, if you're a big photography fan, Amazon is having a one terabyte SS, uh, micro SD card for $299.99. That's oh, incredible. I that. saw that. That's incredible. The a Switch can fit it, by the way. Just so you know. No way. The, the Switch, Switch can fit up terabyte? to two terabytes. Yes, we looked this up. <clears throat> what? Yeah. <laughs> you can put you a two terabyte SSD card in there. You'll be able to fit all the titles and not run out of space. Yep, yes, this is correct. Much. But how much is a two terabyte SD card, Lewis? It's more than I the mean, Switch. <laughs> I mean, a regular one terabyte is 449 one terabyte micro SD card. It's more than the Switch. It's on sale right now for two ninety nine. It's about the same price as the. It is the same price as the Switch. Yeah. You're basically buying the storage. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, <clears throat> this is incredible. Yeah, at the same time, like we're at one terabyte micro SD cards. I didn't think it was gonna be this soon. 
I thought we still had like maybe a year or two until we got there. I mean, just wait until we get like what's what's after a terabyte? A petabyte? Yeah, I, yeah, petabyte. Yeah, just wait until we get that. <clears throat> That's gonna be for fucking ever. <laughs> what would you do with that much space? Like, mm. like um, with the first one. I mean, how many petabytes? It took like five petabytes to download that black hole image. Uh four hundred oh, gigabyte true. homework hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> You homework. know how much hentai is out there? No, no, homework. No, homework. 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 Uh, homework. <laughs> the homework. Yeah. Shut up. All my yes. projects that I have stored there. And you don't have <laughs> homework one and then homework uh, parentheses two? <laughs> <laughs> I have homework parentheses seven right now. I, I knew I knew people who had the, the blank <laughs> file. Where like, if you, it, like, it's just on the bottom and it doesn't really look like anything. But if you click over it, you, it just reveals it. Oh God! And uh, then it's like, and then it says homework, and then it's um, the most <laughs> colorful imagery ever. <laughs> it's a beautiful uh, rainbow. Mm-hmm. No, those formulas are very tantalizing. Mm-hmm. I'm actually, I'm planning on getting my parents a. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Homework? homework? <laughs> no, not homework. <laughs> I'm planning on getting them a Amazon Fire Stick because they're uh, twenty dollars, I think, right now. Oh, well, for Black Friday. Just buy them a smart TV. You know, they already have, I think it's like a a 50-inch TV in the room. That's smart TV? No, it's just a uh, flat screen. All right, so buy them, them a 50-inch smart, smart TV. That's why I could make it into a smart TV by just adding... No, 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 no that's, the, that's, that's the easy way. You had to get them a smart TV. I'm yeah. not paying enough improve, money, improve the Improve the display image. Get a oh. Q6. Q8. No, shut up. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's it? Am I, I making saw, this way too much? I think was it that, Best that Buy? That was way too much. That, yeah, I know. No, because uh, I saw a... Uh, I think it was an 85-inch TV for sale, on sale. Uh, but I'm don't, I'm not, I don't remember if it was Best Buy or not. Because I know they have a six, uh, 64. 75 inch TV for two thousand dollars, uh, 4K. Must be LG or Samsung. It's Samsung. All right. See. Yeah. Hey, Luis. For, for that, for that type of price, it should be either those two. Yeah. Ivan, what's a what's uh, a good uh desk? A good desk. Yes. Um, on sale. <laughs> on sale. Honestly, I'm not sure because I'm not too into furniture. Uh, I would recommend maybe going to look at the IKEA ad. Like the one I have is like this. Um. Kind of like, it's it's supposed to be an L shaped desk, but the the part that makes it an L shape can go underneath the desk, so I don't have to have it all the way out all the time. Well, Lewis, you you are mm-hmm. only IKEA is like an hour or so away. <laughs> it's no, it's like less than that. It's like four thirty minutes. The way you drive, yes. The way other people drive, okay, forty minutes with other people <laughs> driving. Forty minutes. So uh. he's going double the speed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the way he drives is interesting. Oh God! What, <laughs> Frankie? Did you oh. cut off there? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, it was so it was so bad. What he said, YouTube actually censored him in the recording. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that quick. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's uh high tech uh uh things that they have the uh <laughs> censorship. You know what I noticed, by the way, Lewis and Jason? The, yeah. the the smartwatches don't seem to be that big of an on sale. I was upset by that because I wanted to get an S3. Yeah, and then it's like, what, five, four hundred dollars No, it's still like $249. Uh, I'm talking about I mean, the other ones. Then, like, the I mean, I still, have my, I still have my Series 4, so I'm not complaining. Did you also just buy the second gen iPod? I, I, AirPod. AirPod. I mean, AirPods. Yes. <laughs> and they're I fucking amazing. Why are they amazing? Bro, the noise cancellation on that shit is amazing. I get that you with can't... my earbuds. No, it does it even better than yours. Honestly, it does. And it's so crazy. Like, Whatever you say. Like, I tested yours before because, what's it called? Um, Ezekiel had them before. And I tested it with him. And I said, like, okay, you know, this is pretty cool. But I tried the AirPod ones. And it's, like, even more quieter. And it's just stupid how it does it. Also, there's not, like, an actual button on them. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. 
Whatever. Waste of money is all I heard. Fuck off. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. But anyway, <laughs> uh, any other sales you guys noticed? Or shall we nah, move on? If anything, I do need some sort of webcam. Uh, or if there's a sale for a video capture card, I need to get on that. I need to get a mic stand. Yes, you do. Guitar Center. They're twenty dollars. Mm. Yo, uh, actually, I want to go see our mutual friend Josh today at his house. Really? Ah. Yeah, I saw his mic set up. It's nice. His mic is definitely a lot nicer than ours. Is it? An, it's an XLR for sure, isn't it? Oh yeah. The yeah, the voice actor well, uh, Josh, right? That you yeah. you mentioned, yeah. Well, it's of course, he doesn't have a good microphone because he does voice acting. I know, oh. <laughs> but the reason so. I brought all that up is uh-huh. just to say his cat is the most adorable thing on earth. Yes, I seen his cat, and it's and that cat is adorable. She has, she was so nice and fluffy, and I love mm-hmm. her. Anyways, back when to I was at the party at his house, I was only playing with the cat mainly. <laughs> Yeah. You were that guy. Pretty much. Hey, the cab went up to me, and I kept it. That's yeah. That's all I'm saying. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> the cab came up to me, and I was like, you are mine now. For the duration of this uh, journey, you're mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, on to our second to- topic, if no one uh, has anything else to to say. Ow. Nah, I'm good. I take that as a... Alright. Well, Tesla... Just uh, showcase their uh, Cybertruck, and it is the truck of the future. So I'll start off by saying I want it. It has the side mirrors. (laughs) (laughs) I thought I was the only one who thought that. I kind of want it. (laughs) I want it. It's so ugly. It's interesting. It's awesome. It's so stupid. I want it, though. (laughs) Like, like you, you know the, I forgot what those robots are called. You know where you get two and they just, like, sense each other and then they start fighting? Mm-hmm. I want to oh, get like two cyber, bots? I want to get two cyber trucks and just <laughs> <laughs> pin them against gladi. each other. <laughs> and Dude, it's so good. It's so stupid. Didn't one, like, break during his uh, reveal? Uh, I no. Forget. Okay. The yes. <laughs> so, the windows are supposed to be bulletproof, right? <laughs> he shot it and it just broke it. No, so a guy threw, like, a metal ball at the windows, and both times that he did the test, the windows broke. And they found out look- why that happened. So, be before- previous testing. Yeah, well, before they did that test, they did another test on the car where they took a sledgehammer to it and beat the shit out of the side of the door, right? hmm And it didn't leave a dent. Well, what they didn't know is that when they did that, it actually- cracked the bottom of the frame of the glass inside the door so that when they threw the ball it didn't have that integrity and it shattered but that's why the ball didn't go through oh okay it still didn't go through guys it still didn't go through but it did crack the windshield can we interrupt for like a little bit uh what mr spooky turkey coming out here and giving us the deals that one is gonna be 79 dollars on Friday, Jason. But. Yeah, but it's a Cubo. But why not? <laughs> it's a cheap one terabyte. One terabyte um, Samsung Cubo SSD and Micro Tender for anybody that's wondering. $79. Yep. Anyways, let's go back to, okay. <laughs> back to our uh, schedule. He's just trying uh, to broadcast. include the boy. <laughs> he's incorporating stuff. Anyways. Even though he's not here. It's beautiful. Anyways, back to, to Elon Musk. This <laughs> truck, well, there's three models they announced. Uh, and they all look I wish the I had the numbers. But the standard one is what, 39000 Yes. Uh, Price-wise? Yes. Standard model is like 39. Uh, 39 The single motor is 39990 or nine, About forty grand. Mm-hmm. The dual yeah. motor is fifty grand, and the tri-motor is seventy grand. about. I would no. get the tri-motor. Tri motor goes from zero to sixty in less than two point nine seconds. Not only that, it has a five hundred kilometer range for driving mm-hmm. distance between charges, which is very nice. Dude, that that yeah, that's actually real nice. I'm Road not gonna lie, it still that? looks so ugly. 
<laughs> it's so ugly. Dude. And then I want it. Does this Cybertruck truck have <laughs> LED headlights, by the way? I feel like that yes. would be... I yes, hate it, it already. I hate it more. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, look, uh, I mean, look, at the end of the day, it's still a concept vehicle at the very end because it's still not going to be released until 2021. Look well, 2021 is when the production line is actually going to start manufacturing. Yeah. So more than likely, they're going to change up the design. I kind of don't want them to, though. Like, that is such an iconic Disgusting, car. nice. Every movie. grade schooler has <laughs> drawn this car before. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was that grade schooler. Oh, man. And I Jason, want it. Jason, are you looking at this image? Which one? Of of the car? The goddamn gas. The gas thing. <laughs> How the hell do you pry that open? Wait, uh, that's the a gap. great question. Wait, where where is the... Uh, so it's behind you, the wheel. Oh, yeah, I see right. it. I see it. Yeah, it's this little square thing. How the hell do you get that open? <laughs> Maybe it's the one that just one of those push. It's like, boop. Yeah, yeah, push it. Yeah, let me just push this person's Cybertruck gas fuel and just inject whatever I want in there. <laughs> or maybe it kind of looks like an Autobot. Well, remember, there's no gas, so no, yeah, knowing... it's all electric. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, let me just put in whatever fun stuff <laughs> I want in the socket. Yeah, science. <laughs> <laughs> let me inject some science into my car real quick. You know, I'm just gonna siphon some electricity. I actually have a friend who pre-ordered this. <laughs> Who? <laughs> uh, a mean, good friend of mine that I call Pinguino. Uh, his name's Edwin. No Shout way. Edwin. What is he doing? He uh, he bought it. Why? And I mean, he wanted the know, truck. Do you know how you pre-order it, right? You know how much it costs to pre-order, right? A hundred no. down. Yeah, that's it. That's all it is. Just a hundred dollars. And if you decide you want it or not when it does come out. You can get your hundred dollars back, or you can be like, "Okay, I want the truck fully now," and that's it. Uh, so, so, so these people be, that are be like, broke, I can pre-order it. Yo, yeah. you can, and guess what? It's only seven thousand dollars to add full self-driving. Yeah, only seven. <laughs> only seven. <laughs> I like seven. <laughs> I like how, you, how the car salesman uh, pitch starts in kicking in. You know, only minute. seven grand for full self-driving. You never know when you're going to get one of them handies and you just want to well, relax. If you, if you really look at it, <laughs> trucks in general are around this price if they're new. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm pretty sure. I'm, to 7, I'm pretty what, sure our father's 70,000. Jason. The Ram, you know how much that fucking car costs? It's expensive. More expensive than the tri motor. Oh, there's, yes. But, but the Rams are so nice. I, I used to drive some when. Where I used Let to me work. tell you something about the Ram that we have. It has been broken down in that garage. It's new, like brand fucking new. Every two weeks, something goes wrong with that fucking truck, and my dad's like, "Gotta take it to the repair shop, pay another thousand dollars on it." Like my dude, just sell it and get this new truck. <laughs> yeah, my dad's truck. definitely gonna go for the fucking cyber truck. <laughs> oh, dude, my dad already <laughs> did, was like, "What the." Fuck is this atrocity of a truck? And I was this like, "This isn't a truck. This is the future." Yeah, he um, didn't believe it was a truck. The future Yo, is now, old man. Did you guys see the Freaking inside boomer. of it with the steering wheel? Uh, no. Yeah, it looks like it's literally a fucking cockpit, and you're able to fucking lift that shit up yeah, off the ground. Steer, the steering wheel is gonna definitely a concept part because they cannot make that into a real vehicle with that type of steering wheel. You 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 want to know something stupid, Lewis? I'm sure you get a good laugh out of this. Mm -hmm. Wait, why oh, not? <laughs> because the way that the handles are is actually not safe for uh, handling. Yes. But so this that, is I I know cars that have it like that. Uh street legal. Yes. Okay. Hmm. So this is, but this they are like million dollar cars, so they're exempt okay. from the law. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so what are you saying, Nigel? Back when I was like. Back in my, my earlier days, I used to be like, I want a motorcycle over a car. Uh-huh. Now? Because I was like, I, in my dumbass mind, I was like, I can ride a bike. I can ride a motorcycle. I don't know anything about how a car works. Therefore, my logic is a motorcycle is safer for me. In my head, I also wanted to ride the Tron bike <laughs> <laughs> on the street. Now, let me tell you something uh -huh. if you guys don't know how you ride a Tron bike. You have to lay down flat 
like, and you're at like a slight angle, and then you ride it like a normal motorcycle. You would like um, you know, rev it up and whatnot. Imagine yeah. getting into an accident with that thing. It, like it would be, it's a nice ride to ride around. You'd but, be dead uh, though. You'd be dead. You'd be the, an accordion. <laughs> yeah, um, that's exactly what I. Have been what learning it's... how to drive a motorcycle recently. Oh, nice. Yeah. One of my friends uh, that's right, pretty much one of my neighbors um, has a motorcycle. And then I'm like, yo, when would you get this? And he's like, oh, I had it for a while now. I was like, can you teach me? So he's been teaching me for a while. So nice. I oh, nice. might get a motorcycle. Might. Get the Tron one. No high hopes. <laughs> Make Be it. Be freaking careful. I know. Especially with, history, with the, the drivers over there that. They're, they're they're not the safest of drivers. Uh, the fucking dumbass motorcycle people here aren't the brightest either. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, we don't have they... good drivers at all here. I'm uh, one of those bad drivers. Uh, can you guys <laughs> legally link split over there? No. No, you can't. On a motorcycle? Yeah. No. You're not allowed. Because I know in California it's legal to to lane split. Yeah, it's not legal here. Interesting. But it's safer, but we're it's not legal. <clears throat> I never knew yeah. how it was safer, but it, yeah, it's not legal. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I, motorcycles have done that to me, like illegally, and, and I always want to open my door and just like let them hit it. <laughs> You're an <Wow>. asshole. <laughs> I mean, they're passing me in like b- literal traffic. They're just going through the middle. I'm like, you dick, and then I just want to open the door and knock them down. My yeah. head is like. In my head, I'm like, that's the smart guy. No, oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of the I weirdest thing the I've same. ever seen on the road before. Like, someone driving something on the road before. It was what? it was storming like crazy. And we, we were going down a hill. <clears throat> and off to my distance, I see this one man in a rain suit driving a grocery cart down the, <laughs> down the street without a brake. Well, any sort of brake, really. And he's just going like... Full throttle, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is his life. I guess this is how he wants to live. <laughs> that's uh, that's the true god right there. As the OG motorcycle, <laughs> the cart, <laughs> the cart. But yeah, I'm like, okay, whatever. He's gonna One end up broken or something, <laughs> and and three broken ribs later, worth it. Yo, so going back to the Cybertruck. Yes. Uh, Do we need to go back to the Cybertruck? <laughs> I just wanted to bring up that it has like the whole solar panel backing that you could. Uh, charge up your battery. Look, or if I driving? can give one suggestion to Elon is put a microwave inside it. Please. I hate you. That's, that's the selling point. <laughs> Have you seen like the concept trailer? Looks like it would be badass too. Like it reminds me of a Spider-Man movie villain thing. You know? What you mean, like a commercial for like uh, someone like Oscorp or something? Yeah, like I could see <laughs> Oscorp using that kind of trailer to transport chemicals. Elon like, Musk, yeah, will become the next Green Goblin. Um. One thing I could ask Elon Musk to uh, put on this is just side mirrors. That's all it needs. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, that that'd be or the like only on, thing that I, I mean, would it could be on the 17 inch display. It just puts cameras on the side. That would be badass, but yeah. very distracting. Oh, can it? Yeah, uh, my ADD ass would just crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you would be fine because it's the Cybertruck. The other person, that would be putty. Oh, yeah, they'd be putty. <laughs> I'd be like, what was that? Uh, this is what this truck fulfills, an unnerving desire to crash but not be hurt. It, you feel a speed bump. It's That's like, oh, what the hell did I hit? Those yeah, tires. Exactly. just watch behind. It's like a, it's a minivan, a family of uh, five. <laughs> That's horrible. And plus, my uh, family is six, so I win. And you're wondering and- how we got our ad banned? <laughs> uh, that was also interesting. Um, that is categorized under profanity. <laughs> I think the other words that we were using. I, I think this profanity. one's that's under shocking. Shock yeah. factor. Yeah. That's actual yeah. shock factor, though. Oh, well. uh, it's surprise imagery. It's okay. You win yeah. some, you lose some. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, we're getting demonetized today. That's fine. Every day. We're sponsored yeah. by A-List, so it doesn't matter. No, we sponsor them. Get it right. He did get it right. At this point, we're not getting any sponsor. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Ivan, do you want to take us out? Um, sure. With the Cybertruck. 
with a Cybertruck. <laughs> Please. Now, now, do you want a single motor, a dual motor, or a tri motor? Let me try to <laughs> tri sell it to you. Motor. You, you want to know why you want to get the tri motor? It's why? simple. Right now, normally, a tri motor is 70 grand, but just for you today, it'll only be 69 grand. Oh, for the people. There you go. Bam. Taking Look me that out. Sale. <laughs> Put me in debt. Um, no, but thank you guys for hearing us babble for whatever. It seems like an hour at this point about Black Friday and the cyber truck. Um, so if you enjoyed all that, feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can figure out when we're posting videos. Hopefully we can get it more consistent as the weeks are going on. And what's it called? We do have the podcast available on all podcasts or streaming services like iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, and Spotify. So if you can't watch the YouTube video, you can go ahead and look on there. But yeah, that's about it, man. Till next time. Goodbye. Bye. Adios.